Hi, Stas Jankowski from Web Coding. In this video, I'll show you the 12 examples of the adapter pattern. The adapter pattern makes it easy to replace any third-party API or package with any other. For example, you use the PayPal payment service API and you may want to replace it with the Stripe payment service API in future. The adapter can help you with that. Today, cryptocurrency is on hype and uh, there are lots of services providing the price of Bitcoin, some analytics. And if you want to build your own service, which provides some analytics for Bitcoin, you may want to get its price from some service. And this is where the adapter pattern comes in handy. This is how the Bitcoin price interface looks like. In this example, I'll show you how we are going to adapt our third parties API interface to Bitcoin price interface. As a third party API, we choose the coin market cap API, but the problem is we don't have a proper package in our case or some other interface. So we'll have to implement the fetching of Bitcoin coins price right in our coin market cap adapter in this case our coin market cap adapter serves as a wrapper to get the price of bitcoin from the coin market cap api our bitcoin price interface has a public method fetch price in this method we call the private method of the coin market cap adapter the request latest data and we adapt its response to to the proper method of the bitcoin price interface here news aggregators are very popular today and if you want to build your own you need to use a third party api which provides you with the latest news first in order to get latest news from any part of our code, we create the news client interface, which has a search method. As a provider of the latest news, we choose the newsapi.org API. This is how our news API client adapter looks. In this adapter, we adapt the news API client interface to our news client interface. First, in the search method, we call the get everything method of the news API client interface. But the problem is that the responses, the return types are different. The news API client interface returns news as array of arrays, while our news client interface requires an array of news DTO and we adapt the return types in this part of code. It's possible that you want to build something like a meme generator and this is where you will need to search for some images and you will need a third-party API which can provide you these images. You will use these images to create some memes and this is where the adapter pattern comes in handy too. We will use the image search interface in our code in order to search for images. As a provider of images, we use the Pixabay API. This is a really great service. It's free and it's really easy to use. In order to search for images, we'll have to adapt the Pixabay API interface to the image search interface. In the search method of our Pixabay API adapter, we adapt the Pixabay API interface to our image search interface. Also, we adapt its exceptions because image search interface throws runtime exceptions while the Pixabay API interface does not throw anything at all. If it returns null, it means there is some exceptional situation. In this case, in our adapter, we throw the runtime exception and after that, we adapt uh, the response of the Pixabay API interface to our image search interface. 
if you work remotely, you need to generate invoices in order to get paid for your services. And this is where the adapter pattern can help us again. In this example, I'll show you how to use the adapter pattern for generating invoices. This is how our invoice generator interface looks like. We will use this interface to generate invoices in any place of our code. As the second interface for generating invoices, we will use the package from Laravel Daily, which is called Laravel Invoices. Unfortunately, this package does not provide an interface, so we will use the invoice class it provides to adapt to our invoice generator interface. Inside of the generate method of our Laravel invoices adapter, we create all necessary params like buyer, seller, and we pass it to the invoice class of the Laravel invoices package. Also, we add here our invoice items, and after that, we save it to our destination folder. Possibly you are building an online store at the moment and you have a task to detect the geolocation of your users by their IP addresses. And this is where the adapter helps us again. We need to create the IP geolocation interface, which has a method geodata from IP, which provides us with the geolocation data of our users by the IP addresses. As a provider of the services, we select the IP stack API and this is our IP stack adapter. In this example, we adapt the IP stack interface to our IP geolocation interface. It's pretty simple. In our geodata from IP method, we call the get user data by IP method of the IP stack interface and we adapt its response to our IP geolocation interface. Many frameworks, including the Laravel framework, actually send emails with the adapter pattern, but you may want to implement your own email client interface in order to make your code more framework independent. In this example, I'll show you our email client interface. We will use this email client interface to send emails from any place of our code. As a provider of email services, we select the Mailgun service, and this is how its adapter looks like. Mailgun email adapter must implement our email client interface. Mailgun provides its own package for sending emails, but the problem is it does not have its interface. It's a pretty common situation when a third-party package does not provide an interface. So again, our adapter serves as a wrapper around the code of a third-party package, and this is how it's going to work. In the Mailgun email adapter, we implement the send method of the email client interface. And inside of that, we, we adapt the code of the Mailgun package to our send method. Proxy IPs are used for scraping websites. Well, the most popular Web scraper is Google, of course, and it scrapes websites in order to place the content into its search index. So in order to get a proxy IP, we will create the proxy IP interface, which has a random method. This method returns a random proxy IP. This is how our array proxy IP adapter looks. We adapt the array proxy IP interface to proxy IP interface. The array proxy IP interface returns an array of proxy IPs, but we cannot use it directly because we may want to replace it with a third party service. And secondly, it does not provide a random proxy IP. So in our array proxy IP adapter, we just get all proxy IPs that we have. And then with the function array rand, we select one random proxy IP. 
generating slacks or building URLs is a very common task for web applications. The adapter pattern is very suitable for this case because you may want to generate slacks with different packages or it's possible that you want to implement your own class for this task. And first of all, we need to create the Slack interface, which is able to generate a Slack from any text. For our example, I've chosen the OC library for PHP, which can generate Slacks from any text. Here we adapt the Slack generator interface to our Slack interface. It's interesting that these interfaces are the same. You see that the methods are called the same, generate, and the output is the same but you may ask why we need to use the adapter pattern here if the interfaces are the same the problem here is that if you use the slug generator interface from the OC package you may face lots of problems in future if you decide to replace it with any other package. So we use here the adapter pattern to make our code more independent on packages. When users upload images to your application, you often need to show the thumbnails of these images. And this is where the adapter pattern helps us too. You are likely to want in future to replace the provider of services for making thumbnails with some other package or a third-party API and this is why the adapter is useful here in this case. First we create the thumbnail maker interface which is able to make a URL with a thumbnail from an uploaded file. It's a provider of services for making thumbnails. We choose the Cloudinary API. It's a really nice service which I used in some projects. Unfortunately, Cloudinary package does not provide an interface, so we will adapt its code as it is to our thumbnail maker interface. First, we call the upload method of the Cloudinary facade, and after that, in our private method of our adapter, we replace the image upload string with the following string, which uh, scales our image to a necessary size. Using shortened links is very handy because shortened links look much better in your content. Also, you can track clicks on these links and it's really useful for your analytics too. As there are lots of services for shortening links, you need to use the adapter pattern for that purpose. First, let's create the URL shortener interface, which has the make short URL method. It produces a shortened URL from a provided URL. As a provider, of services for shortening links, we choose the Bitly API, a very popular service for this task. We use the package from PHP license engine and we will use the Bitlink class from this and we will adapt this to our URL shortener interface. First, we create the shortened URL by calling the create bitlink method and after that we check for errors and if there are some errors we throw the runtime exception. After that we adapt the response of this package to our URL shortener interface. Someday you may get a task to show whether in a website and this is where the adapter helps us again because you may want to replace a third-party API for fetch and weather with some other service in future. First we create the weather provider interface which can fetch the current weather by providing it the latitude and longitude. So let's create the open weather map adapter. Unfortunately, the open weather map API does not provide an official package for fetching weather from the service. So we may 
may implement this right inside of our open weather map adapter and here we use the http client to get the weather data from open weather map and after that we add its errors and response to our weather provider interface you may want to build your own content management system. For this purpose, you will need to convert Markdown to HTML because today it's a pretty common situation when you create your articles or any other content with Markdown. And after that, in order to show this Markdown to users, you will need to convert it to HTML. For this purpose, we create the markdown parser interface which has a 2html method which is able to convert markdown to html as a provider of these services i mean services for converting markdown to html we will use the parse down package for php unfortunately this package does not provide an interface too so we will use its parse down class and we will adapt this to our destination interface markdown parser interface inside of the two html method we added the parse down class and we use its text method and in the end we get our markdown converted into html if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and give it a thumb up also write in the comments below when you used the adapter pattern in your daily work or your own projects